welcome back in this lecture we are going to understand how to deal with dollar dot ajax call right so this is a low level function that is uh, available in the jquery library and which allows you to send requests to server and then it can receive the response back just like uh, dollar post and dollar dot get but it has lot more options i'm going to uh, demonstrate the same example uh, we are going to send a gender and age to the server.php but this time with the help of $.ajax call and then we will get a response back okay and then we can update our division tag where the id is results so let me show you how can you do it so for that you need to write a $.ajax and this ajax from function it requires some parameters right so we need to pass a object in a curly braces here right I have to mention that what kind of data or what kind of request you are going to trigger. So I am saying that we want a get request. So we are going to send data with the help of get request, right? And after this, you need to specify the URL of your server.php file, right? Fine. So this is required. So I can write a local host and you need to specify the complete URL here. So HTTP localhost then colon 8888 and then within this uh, localhost I have a project folder and then I have a server.php file and then comma and then you need to specify the data right and in data I'm going to copy this thing like the gender and age let's copy it and paste it here and then comma and then you need to specify the content type so we are saying that our content that we are sending is of json type or you can say it's a text type right so when you are sending your data uh, that is like in a m percent uh, gender equals to female m percent symbol age equals to 45 even you can skip this option but when you are sending your data in a json format which is javascript object notation then you need to mention this content type right now we are not uh, mentioning it so we are directly going to the success parameter and in success parameter you need to specify a function if everything goes fine that this function will be called automatically and this function will automatically receive the response sent by the server right and then I can go for a failure function right and in this function I can write or I can receive the errors that we got and I can alert these errors right or oh, you, you can write error fine so if we got success so we will uh, get the data in this function uh, that is the response sent by the server.php if uh, the call is not successful then this function will be called and we will receive the error and we will display it right and in the success function I can copy this line at line number 49 I need to update my division tag based on the response okay now I can delete this dollar dot post here I do not need it anymore right and let's save your page so before executing let's review it again so we have mentioned the type we want to send request in a get method and that is the URL of your server and that is the data gender equals to female and age is 45 and this is a success function and it's a failure function and let me go back and see my server.php because we are sending data through get request so I need to mention a dollar underscore get here so let me write down here dollar underscore get rest everything is same so let's open your file here so this is home.html let me refresh it fine so this is our home.html file so let's uh, click on the apply button and see we got you got 20% discount so we are getting response back from the server.php so this is all about this ajax function call and it's a low level function and most of the professionals use this $.ajax function well one another good thing about $.ajax is that it can deal with json data format right 
So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it's a data format, data exchange format I should say and just like XML. So because XML is difficult to parse and JSON is very uh, easy to parse. So these days uh, JSON is in high demand and it's a data exchange format and with the help of this JSON uh, you can post your data to servers and you can uh, get the responses back. And this is a very lightweight uh, data exchange format. So let me give you an example and let me make a data format here. Let me write object equals to. Now I'm going to write gender is let's say female. And then I want age. Age is let's say 45. Okay. So this is a data format. And this time I'm going to use a post request. I'm going to post my data to my server.php and I want to send data in a JSON format. So while sending the data, you need to convert your JSON format into a string. So I can call json.stringify function and then you need to pass your object here. So it will convert your JSON format into a string that will be traveled to that server.php right let me save it so this is all about a jquery end right from jquery site everything is okay now we need to make some changes in the server.php file because you are uh, sending request in a json format so we need to make some changes in the server.php so let's go here and this side i need to write let me say I will write dollar JSON, let's say underscore string equals to file underscore get underscore contents is a PHP function uh, that will receive uh, input and that input will be available on this path. So this path is given by the PHP and it will receive entire input that is coming from your jQuery, right? And it will convert the entire input into a string format and then I need to convert that string into a JSON object and for that I need to call let's say JSON underscore decode I need to decode my string into JavaScript object so here I would write dollar JSON underscore str so now my json underscore object is an actual json object and I can deal it like an object and here I can write let me write dollar json object and hyphen air it's an arrow symbol here and then here I can write dollar json object then an arrow symbol and I want h right so I need to write a gender here right gender so this is the change that i need on server.php and i need to mention the semicolons here save it now rest everything is same uh, do not make any other changes right so this is an inbuilt function file underscore get underscore contents and it will read the entire json string on this path so it's a default path given by the php and then you need to decode your string into javascript object once you have the string converted into javascript object or a json object uh, you can deal uh, with your variables like this with the help of arrow symbols okay so let's go back and here refresh your page let me do it Now let's click on the apply. See, I got an error and I got a result too. So let me check the issues. And in this error, we can see that the issue is on server.php file. So let me go back here. Okay, so we have mentioned a string here. I need to write an object here. Now save it. Uh, now go back and click on apply. So you got a 20% discount, exact result. So let me change some values in my jquery code so here i need to mention let's say female and here let's write 40 now let's save it now go back and click on apply and you need to first refresh your page 
okay now click on the apply you got 15 percent discount because this time the gender is male and the age is uh, what is the age here it's 40 right so this is all about uh, dollar dot ajax and you can uh, re request for data you can send the data in uh, using get method using post method you can send a plain text data you can even send a json data so it's a very rich in functionality so keep practicing on dollar dot ajax